Well, the time is finally here. The video that everybody has been asking me for. This is the updated virtual world deck profile. Virtual world deck profile is my most viewed video to this day it has more than 100,000 views and this is going to be the updated version now that VFD got banned and after the deck profile rundown I'm going to show you guys a gameplay of the updated version and hope you guys enjoy so yeah let's get started so after everything 40 cards on the main deck we want maximum consistency with this deck one of the main issues with this deck is that it struggles with consistency but if you open playable you can break through almost any board so and you can build almost any board so yeah let's get started so we're gonna be playing three maxi maxi is the best hand trap the best card in all of master duel so you're gonna want to max out on that and right along that we're gonna max out on ash which is the counter to maxi in case somebody maxis us and in case we want to maxi our opponent so ash is very versatile so we want to max out on that as well we're playing two nyan nyan we will play one if we played uh, if we didn't play Pot of Desires, but since we're playing Pot of Desires, we're going to run at least two of those. The reason being is because uh, we want to recycle our banished cards, right? So you don't want to banish both Neons because they help you stay uh, throughout the game. So, yeah, we're playing two of those. We're playing three Lulu, the best card in the deck. This is basically uh, can get you to any card that you need. Lulu plus Kowloon equals basically any end board that you want to end up with. I've made multiple videos regarding this. I even made a one hour guide, virtual guide, uh, with multiple combos regarding Lulu plus Kowloon. So, yeah, you're going to want to watch that if you are interested in that. We're playing 3GG. Uh, one of the best cards in the deck can help you get back a Lulu or a Roshi during the end phase. Uh, we're going to be playing two Roshis. Uh, this is one of the bricks of the deck. Uh, sure, opening this alongside maybe like a Neon and GG makes it playable, but you kind of don't want to brick on this. We're playing three Lily, three Lily. Uh, this plus uh, Ching Long is actually playable. You can actually play through that. You just gotta activate uh, Ching Long, activate Lily effect, send Shuan Hu plus Lulu, uh, revive. Uh, Lulu with Shuan Hu make the uh, Vermilion Dragon Mech, Vermilion Dragon Mech banish Lulu, pop itself, you add back the Lulu from the banish pile and then you activate Lulu targeting Ching Long and then you go on from there. So opening this pl plus Ching Long is actually combo. I will play one Tao Tao, a lot of people don't like playing this but I actually like it. Uh, sending this off of Roshi means that you have another way to actually be able to extend through their boards We're playing through to Nibiru the reason being is because I don't want to max out on this mainly I want to be able to open one and have one in deck in case I want to activate cross out on this spoiler alert we are playing cross out uh, Nibiru is a very impactful hand trap so we want to want to play impactful hand traps to upstart uh, I had uh, literally a 30 minute discussion with myself whether upstart or call by the grave call by the grave good against maxi and hand traps but upstart is good with consistency this deck struggles with consistency worst case scenario you can set it activate zulkin effect summon crystal wing then activate it draw a card so yeah uh two desires consistency draw to we like to draw things the fact that we can recycle banished cards in this deck is crucial so we want to at least run two of these. I didn't want to max out on it because I don't like open multiples of this. Two, three Kowloon, one of the best cards in the deck, can help you set your Chuchi. Uh, three is Ching Long, very good card, can help you search any card you want. Uh, two Emergency Teleport. We would run three if this was a three, but the fact that it's semi limited, we, we're limited to running just two of it, so. Uh, very good card. Very good card. And one cross out. We run a lot of hand traps. A lot of hand traps, which means that cross out is gonna be basically hitting every single hand trap that our opponent throws us, minus like a Veiler or something. But it is a very good card. Two imperm. Once again, same logic. We kind of want to run one of each hand trap. Um, now we're playing two Chuchi. Uh, you don't want to run three of these because. Uh, there is really no reason you're just gonna end up breaking on it and one Shuan who the the worst of the the trap cards but the best in the in the and some of the awkward scenarios when you need an extender so yeah that that wraps up the main deck and now we're gonna go over to the extra deck so 
Spoiler alert, we are running Kaliga. So uh, you you might be wondering how can you make this? Well, you make this with the Muddy Mud Dragon and the Zulkin. So Muddy Mud Dragon plus Zulkin can actually give you access to the Invoke Kaliga. Use your land board, you make Zulkin, set a spell a trap card, summon out the Crystal Wing. Then if you have a, a non-tuner and a tuner level three, you make the mud dragon so mud dragon plus zulkin equals kaliga so your end board should be kaliga crystal wing plus maybe a chuchi set or something like, like a hand trap so very good card this makes it so your opponent can only attack and activate one uh effect per turn so a very good card so we're playing charge warrior is a draw one very good card coral dragon draw one plus a tuner very good card makes us helps us make zulkin Muddy Mud Dragon helps us make Kaliga. Kaliga is basically the replacement for VFD. I would be running VFD, trust me, if VFD was still legal, but since it's not, we have to run a replacement. And Kaliga, I think, is one of the best replacements in all of Yu Gi Oh! Uh, playing Jiju helps you deal with back row decks. Crystal Wing because of the Zulkin play. Uh, we're playing one Vermilion Dragon Mech very good breaking boards and make and helping you uh play with board with hands that you can't play like like the one i talked about like lily plus Chinglong, right lily plus Chinglong makes you vermilion dragon make and they and then you can actually combo off from there so uh one shen shen a lot of decks that need like link summoning really cannot out shen shen like they they need their stuff to go to graveyard but with shen shen it gets banished instead I love Shen Shen. This is one of my favorite monsters in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Very good card. Recycles itself. Puts stuff that's banished into the graveyard. Very good card. Zulkin. Very good card. The fact that you can actually recycle your Crystal Wing with stuff like Neon is very good. Uh, you ban it. Let's say they out your Crystal Wing. Uh, you banish it with Shen Shen to summon Shen Shen back. Then you recycle the Crystal Wing with uh, your Neon, and then you can activate Zulkin Effect again, summon Crystal Wing again. So very good. A couple of very niche plays that you can make with this deck. So we're going to be running Fortune Tune for our rank 3 attacking and then making Zeus. We're going to be playing M7. M7 is one of my favorite monsters in all of this uh, Virtual World deck. Why, you may be asking. Because it, it bypasses cards like uh like uh the ones that say that if this card is outed by your opponent and activate a certain effect like for example something like mirror jade where it says if your opponent removes this card from the field destroy all their monsters m7 guess what bypasses that if you bounce their monster send it to the extra deck they don't get the effect not just that you can recycle hand traps you have a maxi and ash a nibiru in the graveyard m7 grab it back to your hand and now your opponent is like, oh crap, I cannot play through this hand trap, plus the board is set up. So we're playing Utopia Beyond. This helps you out basically almost any boss monster. It makes any boss, any monster on the opponent's side of the field zero. Uh, this plus the Charge Warrior is the combo because uh, Utopia makes all their monsters zero and Charge Warrior makes it so you can attack all the special summon monsters once each. So you attack all of them, they're all at zero, it's OTK from there. So uh, Fan Fan, very good against Sky Striker. You banish the Link plus Ray in Graveyard and they cannot recycle their stuff. Gaia Dragon, because you run a lot of rank sixes, makes you helps you make a four material Zeus. Speaking of Zeus, we're running the man of the hour, Zeus himself. Zeus, one of the best extra deck monsters in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! So yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys a gameplay that I had with this exact same deck profile. Hope you guys enjoy. So, right off the back, I start off with uh, Ash, Upstart, Desires, Imperm, and Xuan Hu, so not really a playable hand. I activate Upstart, draw into Emergence Teleport, that's pretty good. Activate Desires, Banish 10, draw two, draw into Lily, plus Ash Blossom. Activate Emergency Teleport, summon out Neon, activate Lily Effect, targeting the Neon, sending a copy of the uh, the Xinglong from deck to graveyard. 
Now summon out Lily, activate the Qinglong effect to draw a copy of Lulu. I'm going to discard a copy of Xuan Hu because we want to have this in graveyard because it helps us extend even farther. And activate Lulu, send a copy of the uh, Qinglong. Now I'm going to draw a copy of the uh, Chuchi because you send the opposite and you add the opposite. I'm going to go ahead and synchro both of those off into a copy of the Coral Dragon. Now we're going to make our Zolkin because we control a level 6 tuner and a level 6 non-tuner. So now we make Zolkin. Activate Coral Dragon effect to draw a card. Draw into the Cross Out Designator. So right now we're Nibiru proof plus a lot of hand traps proof. We're going to set a copy of the Chi Chuchi. Activate Zolkin effect going to Crystal Dragon. Activate the Xuan Hu in the graveyard to summon out the Lulu from graveyard. Discard a copy of Ash. We don't care about discarding Ash because we already have another Ash in hand. Now I'm going to go ahead and revive uh, the Neon with her own effect. When a level 3 gets summoned, I can uh, summon it. Now I'm going to overlay both of those into a copy of Fortune Tune. Fortune Tune is hard to out because if it would be destroyed, you can just detach one. So now I have two banished cards on the banished pile, which is the Xinglong and the Xuan Hu. So I have a pop with my Chuchi. I have an Imperm and I have a cross out. I have a Crystal Wind and I have an Ash in hand. So this board may not look like much to my opponent, but I have one, two, three, four interruptions plus a lot of follow up, right? Because next turn I can banish Ching Long, grab a copy of Lulu. My opponents are gonna start out by normal summon now, falling of Albus. is gonna try to fusion uh, somebody in my board. I'm gonna activate uh, Crystal Wing because I don't want my monsters to get fusion. He's gonna go ahead and chain a copy of Super Poly, discarding a uh, copy of the Dark Lord Enchantment. So he's not going to get to fusion summon uh, with the Albus effect, but he's still going to use uh, Super Poly to fusion my Crystal Wing. Going to make a copy of Mirror Jade. Now during the battle phase, I'm going to go ahead and activate a copy of Chuchi. Shuffling two of my virtual world cards, so I'm going to go ahead and pop the Mirror Jade. Mirror Jade's effect activates during the end phase. All my monsters will be destroyed. Yep. Now end phase, Mirror Jade's effect resolves, uh, my, my Zulking gets destroyed, but Fortune Tune protects itself by detaching one from itself. So now during the standby phase, I'm again 500, I'm going to activate a copy of uh, Ching Long, grab a copy of Lulu, I'm going to discard my Lily because I don't really care about Lily anymore. I love Lulu, Lulu is so good, so good in this deck, so Lulu effect. I'm going to go ahead and send a copy of Ching Long. I'm going to grab a copy of the GG. Now I'm going to special now uh, the Neon with her own effect because a level 3 was summoned. Now I'm going to activate GG effects and a copy of the Xuan Hu. I'm going to go ahead and synchro summon for the Charge Warrior. Be able to draw a card. Plus shuffle back a card with the Neon. So this deck is very scary. One of the reasons why Konami hasn't given this deck more support is because this deck is basically endless resources once it gets going it never stops you can shuffle back anything from either the graveyard or the banished pile with neon with chuchi with shenshin by banishing then recycling with neon that's why konami is scared to give this deck more support because this deck is basically the definition of endless resources right you can just keep on giving yourself resources the opponent is not gonna get their resources back but you're gonna keep on getting more and more and more right you're gonna win the the war of attri attrition i think that's the word but uh now we're gonna go ahead and shuffle draw a copy of upstart i'm gonna go ahead and go into shenshin i'm gonna activate upstart draw a copy of desires i'm gonna go into battle phase attack for those i'm gonna attack with fortune tune i'm gonna chain a copy i'm gonna chain the shenshin's effect to put back my neon right here Now I'm going to Zeus because of XYZ battle, activate a copy of Xuan Hu. The only reason why I'm doing this is because I want uh, I want uh, two banished cards on the on the banished pile, which is the Ching Long and the Xuan Hu to so to make my Chuchi live. So now during the end phase, I'm gonna have Shen Shen, which is banish anything that leaves the field. Zeus, wipe everything, imperm, cross out, Chuchi, Ash Blossom, and now I might be able to grab Lulu with my GG effect that resolves during the end phase. So, yeah, good luck, my opponent, with three cards in their hand being able to out this board. So, he's going to go ahead and activate Dark Lord Eggshell. I'm going to go ahead and chain Ash to that because I don't want him to draw cards or add anything. 
Now he has one card in hand. What will he do? Normal summon uh, Alibur. I'm just gonna go ahead and change a copy of Infinite Impermanence to that. I don't want him to get access to the branded fusion. And my opponent is just gonna wrap it up, right? Because guess what? He was not gonna be able to out my board. But yeah, uh, that wraps up this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys have fun destroying your opponents using Virtual World, one of the best decks ever made in Yu-Gi-Oh! But as always, guys, this was Yara here, and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.